uh, they said to us that we'd like... I said, uh... What? Remember, it could be you. I hope you find the next 10 minutes exciting, encouraging and... Cool. <laughs> it could be you. And more often than not, I've forgotten the words. Remember, it could be you. Tell us what you've managed... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember, it could be you. <laughs> Remember, it could be you. I forgot it again. Well, that's all well and good, I hear you say, but the bottom line is... <laughs> As you can tell, getting your head around arts funding can be difficult. You might be sitting there thinking... I'm not sure why I came to this event. Everybody around me looks far better qualified and she seems very confident. Or you might be thinking... The last time round, I put loads of effort into my application and I didn't even get a full explanation of why I was being turned down. Or you might be thinking... I'm not an artist, but it'd be wonderful to organise some music workshops for those people who use our daycare centre. I wonder if I should be here. Whatever it is that you are thinking right now, I hope you find the next 10 minutes or so exciting, encouraging and enlightening. Grants for the Arts exist to support artists, makers, people who are creators, community groups, musicians, performers of all sorts. We want to support great art for everyone. Grants for the Arts has supported all sorts of projects over the years. The range of projects is enormous. Well that's all well and good I hear you say, but the bottom line is that Grants for the Arts is an application process. We've tried to make the application as clear as we can and to give you the chance to tell us what it is you want to do in your own words. In theory, making an application should be a really straightforward process. You have an idea. You get the application form. You read the guidance. You write about your project. But we know sometimes filling in forms can be confusing. And more often than not, people find this a huge stumbling block. Once I've started filling in the form, then I'll probably speak to the G4A helpline because they're very, very good at giving you specifics, aren't they? And they always get back to you as well, which is really useful. Usually you can work with your advisor, whether that's the G4A advisor or the officer, on just rewording it so that it is much clearer and it's clearer to them. Your idea, how you're going to manage it and how you make it successful is what we really want to hear about. When we set up the scheme, we listen to the artists and the organisations we work with and we ask them how they would like to apply. They said to us, we'd like to describe the project in our own words and that's what we've tried to do with the application form. Think about describing your idea on a postcard that you're sending to a friend mm -hmm. who has no interest in the arts whatsoever. Bring it back to what actually it is. What is it you're trying mm -hmm. to do? Mm -hmm. Why are you trying to do it? Why do you think that's important? Mm -hmm. And just sort of putting it in very plain language. When you get over that fear and you just go, right, I'm just going to sit, do a bit, walk away, come mm. back, do a bit, walk away, it's not actually as terrifying as, you, you know, the worst thing they can say to you is no, and if they say anything other than that, they're just being rude. I don't think you can go to, obviously, Arts Council or any funder and kind of think, well, I want to do this, so it should be funded. Mm. You have to look what mm. that funding is there for and does it fit. The application is just the kind of the justifying process mm. of it's you kind of explaining what it is and why you think it should be funded. So the top tips for pulling an application together are Have a great idea and try and reflect this in your proposal. Tell us about you and your work, who is involved and why you are the right person or organisation to lead this project. Tell us how the public will engage with or benefit from your project. In other words, how people will be involved and benefit from your great idea. Tell us how you're going to manage the project and take it from a brilliant idea to an amazing event or piece of work. Think about pulling a timetable together and all the key steps along the way. Be clear about your finances. Tell us what you've managed to raise through match funding or plan to raise through earned income like ticket sales. I always think that when you start putting something down in a budget you can actually start to see what does this cost? Where are the costs yeah. attached to it? Where are there going to be problems? Is this is this feasible? Mm. Is this actually for the what we want to end up with are the mm. outputs of this project? Mm. Is the money we're asking for appropriate? You know, is it mm. too much? Do you know for what we're actually going to? So I always kind of start with the budget, 
and then we start looking at different parts of the application. Either subsidised rehearsal space or free rehearsal space, which is worth a fortune, mm. is an amazing way to, to match you, the funding that you want to put in. The, the mm. most successful um, matched funding that I've ever found has been in kind, working mm. with other arts organisations. I think local authorities are undervalued and underused in mm. terms of funding. There are still little pockets of money and it might not be that they have a funding pot but they might have a budget somewhere where they wanted to reach that uh, you know, particular uh, demographic. So, what makes a great application? What I'd be looking for is a track record of the artist what have they what has the artist done before in terms of in terms of great art and how they're evidencing that as well um, is it through have they won any awards or have they had a, um, an exhibition before or um, what have the, you know what has the audience feedback been like for previous work if the idea is good and is very succinct, succinctly explained and clearly explained that it really emerges as wow this is a good idea and, 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 and then let's see how they are planning to do it. And there are other elements that you need to add to that. But in terms of quality, a good idea is more likely to be a good quality project. I think that you can get so close to a project that you assume that the person who's reading your application almost knows as much about what you're planning yeah. to do as you know. And you kind of miss out really obvious things. I would think to do is when, when an applicant has written the application is to give it to someone that knows nothing about the project at all, not even about the artist and whether they have a good idea of what it is that they are asking for or what it is that they want to do. And in terms of accountability, for us that we are the guardians of that public money and for the, 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 the potential applicant is receiving that money, they need to be absolutely accurate with how the lines of the budget match those of the with a figure. Uh, that, that narrative that goes with the budget mm. is as important because again you really need to explain why those costings are accurate mm. and realistic and why the the income targets that you have as well are realistic and achievable. If you have an idea talk to people about it start to so start the start the process of having the conversation um, and getting feedback don't let your ideas just remain inside. So there you have it. Not every application is going to be successful, but perhaps more than you think. And we do want to say yes where we can. When we were unsuccessful, and I saw the reasons why we were unsuccessful, the reasons were correct. Yeah. And the reasons were correct because I was basically saying that they don't do repeat projects. Mm. And I think we got to a stage where we'd had quite a few successful applications. And we kind of thought, this is an organisation, this is what we do, and the Arts Council fund us. Yeah. Without actually thinking, without actually looking and thinking, well, this is what the Arts Council do and don't fund. I asked for the assessment report, mm -hmm. and that told me exactly where I was going wrong. It's not just a project that you're applying for, but because you're a human being and it's also your bread and butter, mm. th there's more attached mm -hmm. to it than that. I think sometimes as well that we don't, we don't plan around possible failure which is a big issue because sometimes you'll have a whole project set up mm. everything's based around that and other bits and bobs are going to feed into or feed from if it doesn't happen everything crumbles whereas actually you know what you start to learn as you kind of go down the line and you have some knocks mm. and scrapes is this is what we're going to do mm. um, it might happen to different scales or with different facets depending mm. on what funding comes in or what doesn't. We received loads of good applications, about 6,200 per year. 39% of the applications we receive are successful. The average size of an award is £20,600. And here are some top tips from some artists who have been successful. Don't get caught up in seeing that you can write an application to the Arts Council and trying mm. to see what fits into that. Decide what work you want to do, what's mm. important mm. to you, and then see whether that's something the Arts Council funds. And if it does, then fill in your bits. But don't get lost in this whole thing of they want to see this, they want to see that. Concentrate on what's important to you and what it's actually about. Focus on your partners. Be sure that you have fostered um, relationships with people who are really going in the same place that you're going in and find people that you can work with and enjoy working mm. with as well. Try not to take rejection personally. Take it more as a sign of maybe that's not quite the right direction to go and look at 
other ways to kind of go and make it work. It's not, it could be you, it will be me. That's the belief yeah. that gets you, gets you there. We hope that you find today helpful in learning about other people's experiences in making applications and of the kind of work that we fund. And if Grants for the Arts is not for you, it might not be the right time, or your idea is a bit undercooked. We hope you make some useful connections that might help you make an application in the future. Remember, it could be you. Thanks for watching, and good luck. We want to support... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs>